Hey everybody, this is Ashton, and welcome to Without Code. Today we're looking at our AddThis.com Social Tools widget. The social tools from AddThis.com have become very popular over recent time, and they can be utilized on sites of any size. In fact, some of the largest and highest profile sites on the web are using their social tools today. Now some of you may be wondering, why should I use AddThis.com's tools instead of the regular social buttons already available as standalone widgets currently? Well, aside from the incredibly dynamic range of functionality and display options that Add This offers, the analytics tools available from Add This are pretty much essential if you'd like to keep track of how much social media is actually impacting your site or your business. In the Add This portal, you have the power to create a wide range of button styles and functionalities. You can use floating buttons, pinned, banners, pop-ups, and much more. And best of all, it's all free to use. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need is to create an account at addthis.com. So I'm going to click here from the homepage on continue with email. And we'll enter our email. And create a password. And then we'll click let's get started. And then we're immediately prompted to start building a tool. Now we're presented with six options for various tools and functions here. Our widget works with three of these options. So you've got share buttons, which allow users to share the page that the widget is actually placed on. You've got follow buttons, which allow users to follow you on your social media channels. And then you've got website tip jar, which allows you to accept donations on your website. Now some tool types have more button display options than others, but share definitely has the most. So let's make a sharing button. We'll click share. And then we're taken to an editing dashboard where we start by picking a tool type, which will control how it behaves on your page. You've got floating, inline, expanding, and the thing is many of these are actually pinned options which appear at a certain place on your page and remain there as the user scrolls, making them always available. Let's start by selecting floating, and then we'll click continue at the bottom. And then you're going to get several tabs here with many options that allow extensive customization of your tool. Now I'm not going to go into every single setting in detail, but just make sure that you explore your options here within. You've got design tools here with this tab where you can customize the size and the color. And then over here we've got counter settings. And then we've got positioning. And then finally behavior on the pages. So there's lots to work with here. Finally, when you're ready to go, just select activate tool. And that's it. Next, we're brought to a page where you're going to get a bunch of instructions here on how to embed the add this code onto your website, but you do not need any of this. Remember, we're not doing a direct embed, we're using a widget to perform the embed for us. So all we need to do is grab the add this ID, and you can find it in the URL. There's a string of numbers and letters we can see here in the middle, starting with that RA and a dash. Now keep in mind, depending on what page of the site you're actually viewing this on, the string may be in a different position of the URL, perhaps at the end. But it's the only part of the URL with this long sequence of letters and numbers, so we're going to select it, and hit Command C to copy. And that's it. We're ready to implement it on our site. So let's jump over to Architect. I'm working with our method theme here on the home page, and I'm going to scroll down to the footer. And then we're going to jump into our widgets panel, and we'll scroll down and find the Add This Social Tools widget. So we'll grab this and we'll drop it right into our footer. Perfect. Now as soon as you do that, you're going to notice that the widget shows a placeholder here on your site rather than the actual social buttons. A publish is required to actually see the social buttons and see it active. The placeholder here is only used so that you can re-access the widget options whenever you need, but it's not actually going to be visible when your site is published. Now in the settings panel here, we can see our first option is the add this ID. So since we've already copied it, we'll just paste it right in there, just like that. Now I've placed this widget in the footer of our page, but you can actually place this wherever you want. And like I mentioned, most of the tool types are pinned. So if you selected like the floating type or expanding or pop-up style, you can place this widget anywhere you want on the page. It's still gonna retain the same pinned location and behavior no matter what. What you should keep in mind though is whether or not to place it in the header or footer. If you place it in the header or footer of your page like I've done, it will appear on every page of your site whereas placing it in the body of the page limits it to that specific page. So just keep that in mind. One other option though, in the case that maybe you want it on several pages, but not every page, what you can do is place it in the header or footer, and then inside your add this account, you can enter the pages that you want to exclude from the widget in your customization options. So that's pretty cool too. 
So back in our options panel, we have the tool type, which we'll leave on share buttons since that's what we created. But you also have the option for follow buttons and tip jar if you're making any of those tools. It's just important that whatever you select that it matches what you created in the add this account. And then lastly here is the inline tool ID. An inline tool is one that is not pinned. It's a tool that will actually show up on the page exactly where you put it. And this one requires a separate tool ID, as you can see here. Now we didn't create an inline tool, so we can leave this alone for now, but we're gonna come back to it. So let's close out of the panel and give this page a publish. Great, now let's click into the site. Perfect, we've got our pinned social sharing buttons appearing nicely here on the left allowing me to share the page very easily. Now let me click over to a different page. And as we can see, because I placed the widget in the footer, it's appearing on this page too, as well as every other page, which is awesome. Now let's jump back to the Add This website. The cool thing about this widget is, now that I've got the ID entered and the widget published on my site, I can customize the functions of the widget inside the Add This dashboard, and it will automatically be reflected on my site without needing to republish anything. And I can even build new tools this way. So we're going to click on the Tools button in the top toolbar, and let's click Add New Tool. And we'll do a Share button again. And this time, let's do an expanding tool. So we'll click Continue. And we'll just change a few things around here. This first tab here is where you can customize the specific platforms that it's shareable to. So just click Selected by You to customize that. And let's go to Design. And we'll give it a black color scheme. And then for Position, it's already set to bottom right, which sounds good. Let's click Activate Tool. Now the cool thing here is that even though you've made a new tool, your Add This ID stays the same, which is great because we don't have to change anything in Architect. Let's click to our tools again. And of course now we have two tools in our account. I'm going to click the green toggle button next to the floating tool to disable it for now. And don't worry, whenever you disable a tool, it is still archived and can be accessed whenever you like. Just click the drop down for all tool types and then select Archived. So literally, without even touching Architect, I can already go back to our website, and we'll refresh the page. And our floating tool is gone, and we're now greeted with a new tool here in the lower right, as promised, where we can hover to expand, since this is an expanding tool, and share the page this way now, which is super awesome. So there's a ton you can do from the Add This dashboard, and you can make revisions and customizations to your social sharing buttons very easily without needing to reload anything into Architect or needing to republish any site. Pretty sweet. Now there's one more thing I want to go over, and that's inline tools, as I mentioned before. So back in the Add This portal, we're going to click Add New Tool once again. And let's do a Follow button this time. And we're going to select Inline for Tool Type. This is going to allow you to place the buttons directly on your page somewhere instead of them being pinned. So we'll click Continue. And for the sake of demo, I'm just going to set up one of these. We'll do Facebook, and I'll just enter the username Websites Without Code. There. Let's click Activate. Perfect. Now let's click back to our Tools page once more. And just like before, I'm going to disable the old tool, the Expanding button, so we're only working with our Inline button. Now we can see a little difference here. We have an inline tool ID listed for this one, and it's just a small four digit code. So we're gonna to need to take note of that and switch back to architect, because remember, for the inline tools to function, there's a second ID that needs to be entered into the widget panel. So inside our panel, we will enter our code into the inline tool ID field, just like that. And now remember, our inline tool that we just created was a follow button this time, so we need to change the tool type to follow. Perfect. And lastly, we'll want to move the widget itself out of the footer and place it directly somewhere on the page. I'm going to move it right up under the Contact Us button. Perfect. Let's republish. Great, and let's visit our site. And I would recommend, even after publishing, that you give the website a refresh. Sometimes you might not see the updates reflected immediately, so if that happens, just give it a moment, give your page a refresh, and if you're still having difficulty, give your tools page on addthis.com a refresh as well.
So let's scroll to the bottom, and there we have our inline follow buttons functioning perfectly. So that's our addthis.com social tools widget. I hope you enjoy. Lots to play with here and some powerful tools that can do a lot for a business, especially the analytics that addthis.com will generate for your tools. Now, it will take a couple of days for them to show up in your account at addthis, so just keep that in mind. Our widget places a bit of code on your site that allows addthis to find it and remember your domain and then begin to track your analytic data. But the process is automatic, so keep an eye out for that once you've gone live with your tools. And thanks again, as always, for watching, and if any issues arise, we're always here to help. Take care.